right, here's your quick tip. The angle finder, or maybe different kinds of angle finders. What's an angle finder? It's any method that you use in order to help you to locate the correct angle of anything you're looking at. Uh, I would find that with my students, one good angle finder is a skewer, just a little wooden skewer. Uh, it doesn't have to be a skewer. It can be a paintbrush. It could be a pencil. It could be your finger. Uh, be careful there. But anyway, how do you use an angle finder? Um, for the first, the first thing I would offer as a suggestion is that you don't hold the angle finder with your elbow bent because if you do, you have a tendency to pull it to and fro and it acts like a zoom does on a camera where you'll get um, maybe a distorted view, view of, what, of the thing you're looking at. So if you lock your elbow like this, the next thing is to use the angle finder like a windshield wiper that goes this way, this way, this way, and this way. And here's what normally will happen. Someone will be using their angle finder. Oh, oh, let me show you how. <laughs> the other thing is to close one eye and then align your eye with the, the angle finder. Turn it until it matches an angle that you're looking at. Then you lock it and you ask yourself, what angle is that? Now, if you, if you have trouble translating that angle, oh, I, think I can quit, stop uh, with the wink now. If you have trouble translating that angle, call it by a number on the clock, like my um, perspective clock that is available on our e-store. So I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But here's what I want to warn you about. <clears throat> when, when you're working the angle finder, and you're finding your angle like this, your tendency might be for angles that are moving in that direction, you'll want to point your angle finder at it. That's going to give you an incorrect re reading of the angle. That's why it's so important to think of it as a windshield wiper, moving like a windshield wiper moves like this, and also that you move it very slowly, very slowly until with one eye closed, it actually aligns with an angle that you might be looking at. So, with that in mind, let's look here. And we would, we would, um, I'll show you how I would um, read some angles here and then make a mental note to myself of what that angle is so that I can actually translate it onto a drawing or a painting. So, if I then were looking out here at this scene in a landscape and I'm holding my I'm holding my um, angle finder in front of me I might then notice that the angle of these trees is this angle now I might in order to make a mental note of that translate that angle to two o'clock or eight o'clock it doesn't make any difference it's the same angle so I have that information I can then take my brush or my pen and go to my paper and make that angle here go to two o'clock. You can do that throughout any scene if you're having trouble reading the angles of it and I think you'll find that will be a real real solid little help for you uh, in getting perspective correct. If you haven't already done so you can go to our e-store and download free um, this perspective clock that might be a great aid for you in using your angle finder. And that's your quick tip.